Okay. Mr. Scott. Mr. Scott. Craig Scott, right? Yes. Okay. So you're holding something here. Let me take, a, take mine. This is one for me and one for you. And I got a pen here. I kind of wanted to go over a few things here just for video for my viewers here. Make sure I'm on on the screen here. I got I got a pin. Um, I met you here. Where are we at? Honolulu, Hawaii. Okay. okay. And um, we had a good day today. I had a very good day today. I, I want to say it's a, been a pleasure to meet you and get to know you. And as we've shared our ideas and dreams and visions, what I've noticed especially is your age and my age, even though it's, it's, it's a span, we still have some of the same visions. And it seems like as age mm -hmm. goes on, even my father at, at 100 years old had, had dreams. And a guy uh, that I've uh, shared some of his videos, he's 109. He still wants to do a vegetarian restaurant, working on a second book he's getting ready to write. So it's neat to, to, you know, to understand and realize that you know, these, these things keep us young, too. Um, before I go into this, uh, you know, and, and, and to recap here as far as how we met, I was at the Honolulu airport and the uh, payphone rang and I an it kept on ringing and finally I answered it and it was you. Well, I had called someone at that payphone and then they had had the number on their caller ID and I guess it talked to you and called. You called it back to see if I was there right. and so I could get it. I had come out from the Philippines a year there and I did not have my U.S. cell phone activated, and I had my Philippine phone activated, and uh, we just kind of hit it off. Now, I don't believe that the people meet just coincidentally. I think God has a purpose and a plan for each of us in our lives, and I, I always want to recognize that, and I'm always excited when I meet someone. Either it's a, it's a challenge for me, if it's a, a bum on the street, I get excited. Maybe God wants me to be the one to help lift that person out of the ditch. Mm -hmm. Maybe God wants me to be challenged or tested by that person to develop my own character and then sometimes you run into people that have a similar goal and I can't share all the load myself and I haven't shared with you a whole lot of uh, I was surprised when we talked yesterday you hadn't seen my auto responses and my emails or, or a lot of that but you uh, have written this up and um, made this proposal and I'll give you a chance to explain it but before I do that what is your background here with regards to mission work mm -hmm. islands what islands have you kind of done mission work in besides Hawaii an island nation called Kiribati, Kiribati. It's the old Gilbert Islands and Kiribati is made up of three different island groups one is Christmas Island and it's part of the line Islands south of here and uh, then just below the equator, there is the Phoenix Islands, and then the Gilbert Islands, which goes across the equator, up by the International Date Line. Uh, and you knew my uncle Gary Gibson. Gary Gibson, yes. He came and worked on that project. Were you uh, instrumental in getting small boats over there to help, or containers, or <coughs> equipment? That was the dream that I had uh, early on, back in the early 90s and uh, was to take uh, out boats to that island to be able to help the people and to spread the gospel with those three boats. Were you, where did those boats originally come from? Did you ship containers from America to these islands? or We ended up with one boat because of finances. Uh, so we ended up with one and we shipped it over from the U.S. to uh, Majuro in a 40-foot container. And then we sailed that boat on down to uh, Kiribati. Oh, okay. So you've been in the mission field doing what I would call kind of like adventure, but to help the people and to, to accomplish a particular specific goal. And uh, now you're back here in Hawaii. Tell us about this contract. Now I haven't come to you about this. This isn't something I've you uh, never asked uh, me twisted your arm here no. and no. and everything because there's a lot of viewers out there, and I kind of want to put it on record. What it is, you know, am I, am I, have I come to you and said, now I need to, you to sign this because we're going to be doing something together? or No, is? it's something that was just uh, of my own design. I felt like we ought to, if we're going to be involved in this, we ought to do a, something on paper to show what we have agreed with. Yeah, what was your idea? What is the idea as far as what, what is this? Is it, am I buying land from you or is this? 
What is this involving? No, I'll explain. Not LAN, <laughs> but piece of the internet. Piece of the internet, okay. We're developing a website for you. And uh, in conjunction with that, we're going to be offering not only health tidbits, you know, how to be healthy, but also uh, there'll be some other things added to it, for instance, to help raise funds for you to be able to go out to these different places. Okay. Now, we don't really need to sign this on the camera. We, we, we signed it a little bit ago over at the uh, Kinko's FedEx Center and everything signed and everything. I've read over this. What was interesting to me is the very thing that you put in here was the actual very thing that I put in other contracts for lands that I've, I've acquired. Mm -hmm. And I have put in the, in the contracts uh, regarding this land that I've acquired. Which page was it, was it here? A building beside the road that I would be selling musical CDs, mm -hmm. um, DVDs, health supplements, and books. And you put right in here that the website, you, you know, offers those, those things. The same thing. The that's same right. thing. And so it's very you complimentary. You didn't tell me that that's what you were doing either. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I didn't tell you ahead of time. So when no. I read this, um, basically you're the owner suggesting, or you're not suggesting, it's been agreed, that you're the owner of a website that you're developing. Um, how long have you been working on this website, and, and what changes have you made in your in your life to be able to work on that website? Have you stopped any jobs? Have you put forth effort, and how long? Yeah, I, I quit my job that I was doing in uh, January of this year, and uh, started developing a website. And it's taken me a while, because I'm learning as, as I go. And this particular website. What's the name of it? Sure. Just uh, SBI. No, no, the, the name oh, of the, name the, of the, the our domain site that you're building. That's uh, newstart-health.com. Okay. And as I kind of understand, we're creating some other websites surrounding that that have to do with um, the health centers that we're setting up mm -hmm. in different countries in the United States. And Hopefully what, what we'll add a couple more. In this contract, specifically, what health um, projects, as far as physical location, are you targeting? I mean, what, geographical locations. In the contract. In the contract, it? we've got, uh, yeah. Yeah, I kind of just mm -hmm. mentioned that. We're well, you've already got started in, in a couple of places. The Molokai. Uh, Philippines, Ohio, and California. Those okay. are the target areas. Okay, so those at this are, moment, those are physical locations. Yeah. You and I both understand one principle, and I like that. Uh, tell me if that's uh, this isn't true. That it's not the location, but it's getting the information to the people, and then the people taking that information and applying it. That's right. You agree with that? Yeah. So it's not about advertising a location. Like sometimes people think it's a it's a health retreat or it's a place where you go and you vacation or you you get well because they've got some special tools or equipment or scientific you know whatever it is you know, or a special doctor who knows something special. I've I've seen so much stuff everything from machines with wires and probes and <laughs> all kinds of stuff that they yeah. go. There's a new one and, and um, it has to do with, and it may be science, some scientific thing to it, but with rubber bands around your fingers and your knuckles and you move them around and stuff. But we're basically working with lifestyle, lifestyle, right? diet, and yeah. you stop doing whatever it is that makes you sick and you start learning what you can do to improve your life. Right. Well, uh, tell us a little bit more about yourself on this, on this video. I want people to kind of know your, your background um, and tell a little, little bit about, if you don't mind, it's up, it's up to you, um, about our the project and the idea for uh, Oregon and the hot springs. That's, because that's something really that close I'm, to my heart. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm very interested in helping with that and, um, you know, I, I kind of want our viewers to, to know that that's a real thing. Yeah. That is happening. You flew, I, you flew over there last week? I flew over there and I spent a lot of time. My background includes uh, what, just last week measuring there? water flow for the USGS. And I have equipment for doing that and I did this on my own. Uh, you know, where where is it at? It's up outside of Portland, about okay. 45 miles. So you flew from Honolulu, clear to Portland and back yeah. just recently to take 
pictures and meet with the owners and to start the negotiation process. So tell us about that. That is a premier piece of property. How many acres is it? 151 acres. And it's got uh, old, some old growth. It was logged about 25 years ago and it has been replanted 25 years ago. There's so a big creek, there's plenty of water. There's a, a river. Yeah, not a creek, but a river. And that's good for if you want to put a hydro on it, which we're going to have to do because it's beyond the grid work. Uh, it's beyond the telephone system. Does it have a, a road, a highway, or anything? It's got a, a four-service road there that's right by it. It's one of the Does it really go through it? or goes right through it. Okay, what about so the hot spring? It? Tell us kind of specifically about the hot spring. Hot springs? I wasn't going to bring that up. Hot spring. <laughs> it's got a 186-degree hot spring there. That's too hot. Well, there's several, isn't there? There's, yeah, there's three of them that I can pinpoint right away. There's actual pools beside the creek, so you can actually <coughs> go in a hot pool, you can have a wonderful <coughs> hot bath, and then you can <coughs> jump into the cold creek. Yep. Right next door. Right next door. That's, that's kind of like the biggest dream that I've ever thought of, because of my background, my father and grandfather, who worked with John Harvey Kellogg in Battle Creek, Michigan, trained under him and then started a sanitarium in Oregon. My father was born in a tent on the old hospital property, the original hospital back in 1905. You know, my father was much older than me. And uh, to be back up in that area and to be working in, with hot water. Now I'm, I'm working with the mm -hmm. hot springs in the Philippines. You know, and you can buy them there. But in the United States, to be able to, to have a hot springs available, right. um, <coughs> this is not just something that it is for fun, not something just to relax the muscles. It actually has, and it's not the minerals in the water. Some people think, what's the mineral water? It soaks into the skin <laughs> or something. Mm -hmm. you know, there's some truth to that, but, but the main thing is the hot and the cold pushes and moves the blood, and it contracts and, and expands and contracts mm -hmm. the, the muscles, the blood, mm -hmm. moves the lymph, and stuff like that. It does things to the body that are great, and, and you know, when I think about it, in, a, in an open setting of nature is extra, you know, special. Very special. And without the chlorine, that's, you know, no people say, well, you can get a hot spring spa. Well, in, in California, at least, it has to be high, highly chemicalized, the water, in order to even be illegal for a person to get in it. And, uh, yeah, so. I think you'll find that there's enough flow of, of fresh water going into it that you won't have any problem with that. So we have an interest in hot springs in Oregon. Mm -hmm. We have an interest in the uh, a number of projects in the Philippines on different islands. We have projects in Hawaii, Molokai, um, back in the, in the East Coast, Ohio, and California. What do you know about the place in California? Um, now, I'm not talking, there's several, but the one that is a rock house. Rock House Lane in Paradise. What do you know about that? We've shared some thoughts back and forth. I just kind of wanted to quiz you because I haven't prepped you on this to, you know, and it's just being recorded, you know, fresh from your mind. I want to know what you picked up from our conversations and what your thoughts are about that place. Well, one of the things that impressed me was that it was right across the street from a, a fitness center. Mm -hmm. And uh, that makes it ideal. You have already worked out some kind of an agreement with them so that when people come there, they will also get to go to the fitness center. It's actually on the same street as the fitness right next door. Right next door. So we're kind of like on the same original property. That's interesting. That's great. <laughs> you couldn't get anything better than that. No. Yeah, so reserving a website. Fit, yes. Fit One Paradise. Is Fit One Paradise. Dot com. Yeah. I probably won't view this video until we actually re get that get that name. <laughs> Someone might grab it. Yeah. But when you type in Fit One Paradise, you come up with a map right to that location, and it yes. shows our house. On you yeah. saw that. Yes. And uh, they offer everything to do with health as far as lifestyle, except for diet coaching, um, nutritional coaching. And if we can do that, it's a, it's complimentary to them. We can refer all our clients to them. And my goal is so that they would refer their clients to us. In fact, when I go over there and sit in a spa and I'm in the pool, I talk to a lot of guys, big muscle building guys, and they want to know more about nutrition. 
Mm. They said that you know they they don't know enough about it there and they don't know where to learn. Uh, so I'm I'm really excited about that. And we've also discussed this um, supportive living experience, like like the doctor over here in this area has going. I I've called it a uh, I forget the different phrases that I've used. Supportive. Uh, uh, commu uh, I, I forget the words that I've used, but basically it's, it's where people help each other and coach each other in a, in a good, positive, lifestyle direction. That is, it's hard when you're by yourself, so you know, if you have everyone in a small group that help each other in those, you know, not pull each other down and try to tempt each other, and that's, that's, it's a sickness. And being a, a health coaching place with nutrition, I want to cater to those types of people as well. Mm. So you've understood that in my ministry to, to work yeah. with, the, with the sick people and uh, have an emphasis on on poor, people that are poor and homeless, because I believe that you know, by doing that, we're actually loving Jesus himself to the least of these, the poor, the sick. Yeah. Well, um, we've signed these. Yes. I kind of want to just ask you, did you come up with this contract or did I come up with it? I did. You did, and this was... Well, I, I really appreciate it very much. I just want to say here that I'm, I'm pleasantly, you know, almost shocked that you would consider me as a developer of these projects and these programs, and I'm very happy to have you as the owner of... Of whatever it could be a massive website when we get done that would be Hopefully very be effective and in, in closing I would like to see on this website um, I've discussed the many features one of the big big features that I would like to have is a world a globe um, that turns and each continent as, as it develops more and more can be a clickable continent or a country can click on it and it opens up with a directory of people in that area that have an interest, not only an interest, they have a passion and they've gone through a questionnaire to even be able to join this particular directory as whether it's a health minister or a medical missionary or whatever it is. If someone is in Africa that e emails me, I say, mm. I go to this link, this is part of our link, click in here, and there are people in your area, or, you know, or hopefully close by, that understand the New START program. They understand that nutrition, exercise, water, sunshine, temperance, rest, air, and trust, and all those principles that they have, you know, a basic background knowledge of that. And we can we can kind of group up those people through a, a testing process or a questionnaire mm -hmm. to create mm -hmm. this directory. And I'm really excited about that because, uh, you know, this is kind of like a a larger group of people than just one person, and it's, it's, it creates a, a movement of, of knowledge that continues without just me, little old me, you know. So, and we want to keep it really simple. And whether it's a, a nipa hut, which they call in the Philippines a grass hut, or a sod hut, or a clay, or brick, or whatever, whatever the country you know uses in that particular place, if there is a willing person to teach. And that's, you know, the ba basics. That's the basis of it. Mm -hmm. And of course, depending on the place, we can, you know, the Lord might. I believe the Lord might just provide. Who knows? If we're going to need to cater to the, the wealthy as well, a bigger and a nicer and a better place. But I want to be content with like here, you know, rocks and yeah. bushes and trees and outside, and it's just beautiful, temperature-wise yeah. and everything. That's one reason why I like this. The hot springs where we're looking at in Oregon. Yeah, it hot, is gorgeous. Yeah. Hot water and cement under hot the water, yeah. heat the yeah. cabins. Cabins. Campsites. Camping sites. Okay. Well, God bless. Thank yeah. you so much. So it's a deal. It's the deal. You're going to be the owner of the website, and mm -hmm. I'm going to help develop these projects and yeah. work hard at this. Well, you know what we didn't cover What's is that? the superfood and all of that. That's a big one, too, that we're going to be offering on the website. Because I'm probably sending this video to Randy, my buddy there. I don't want to say the name of the company uh, that I'm working with. But, um, yeah, so that's, that's, you know, you focused on that a lot, a lot, yeah. lot, lot. And I'm working on some new label designs that help sell that product better. Good. 
And um, I haven't seen your old labels, but I heard that they were not maybe the best. <laughs> yeah, and I'm surprised that when we ordered those labels, uh, they they didn't come with the labels on. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, you'll it's see them. Fine. You'll work. see them soon enough. And so <coughs> we have a lot to do before us. I'm working on a, a magazine to publish. Um, working on um, shipping boxes and stuff over to the Philippines for that project. Um, working on Oregon Place, other places that I don't even need to mention. And I'm excited that our place back in Ohio, I mean, basically we didn't plan to go back there. It's just we needed a place, a, 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 a building that we can rely on that's ours, that has no debt. And that's mm. what we now have. Mm. So it's debt free, it's four story. Um, we have you know, someone back there living in it and ready to ship boxes back and we can have that as a permanent solid address that we can rely on. It's kind of a central hub. It's close to, to Michigan, close to Washington, D.C., close to if you want to drive up to 3 ABN or if you want to go to Andrews University or if you want to go to New York, it's even close to that. If you look on a map, it's like the wagon wheel. It's like there and you can go pretty much any of these places. So it's, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to turn off the camera. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you very much. And I'm sorry I'm wearing this silly hat, but my hair is really messy right now. So Look us up on the website. Yeah, look up the website. Remember, it's, what is it again? Newstart-health.com. New okay, and the other one was fitoneparadise.com. Fitoneparadise.com. Fitoneparadise.com.